Welcome to the REI Student-Led Faculty Guided Projects Info Webinar. The purpose of today's webinar is to explain how REI supports student-led faculty guided projects. My name is Jennifer Bruin and I am the project coordinator for the MSU EDA University Center for Regional Economic Innovation, also known as the REI University Center. REI is supported by the U.S. Department of Commerce Economic Development Administration and the Michigan State Housing and Development Authority. It was established in the fall of 2011 to support the identification, creation, and development of innovative economic development strategies that may yield high growth entrepreneurship and job creation in distressed regions of Michigan. Each year, the REI University Center supports several innovative economic development projects. These projects are led by university and community college students and guided by faculty and are supported through small, REI stipends to offset any costs associated with completion of the research and initiative. This year, REI supported 17 technical assistance projects. As of today, REI has supported 27 of these projects. This year's partners included Madonna University, MSU Business School, Meridian Township, University of Michigan Flint, Shop Floor Theater, City of Perry and the MSU Cars Program, Lake Superior State University, Wayne State University, Michigan State University School of Planning, Design, and Construction, the University of Michigan Ann Arbor, Sa uh, Saginaw Valley State University, and the City of Frankfurt, St. Clair County, City of Port Huron, City of Owasso, City of Flint, Detroit, and the Idlewild Resort Community in Lake County. For years, universities and colleges have offered classes called practicum, studio, field-based studies, service learning, or capstone through schools, programs, and departments studying social work, environmental studies, business development, health and medicine, IT and technology science, public policy, urban planning, or community and economic development. Typically, these classes fulfill credit requirements in order to earn a degree. The content of these courses may vary by discipline, but essentially they are similar in design and format, and many of them follow a student-led, faculty-guided model in order to complete a one-term project in a community or region urban, suburban, or rural. That allows the students to work with a real-world situation for one semester. The projects conducted over the course of the semester vary greatly, but usually they are collaborative in nature and provide the students with new knowledge, skills, and a hands-on experience. And so these learning experiences help to bridge the transition from classroom to professional practice. This purposeful linkage of student learning to real-world application is expected to increase at Michigan universities and community colleges and the outcome will be better skilled graduates and an improvement in the state's capacity to retain talent. For the communities and its professionals, these classes provide access to technical assistance and data analysis that may not have otherwise been available, especially these days where communities are suffering from a severe lack of resources. So today I will describe how the application for student-led faculty-guided projects works. Technical assistance, which is also student-led faculty-guided projects, we're going after, as REI, we're going after a goal to assist communities in completing local economic development initiatives with assistance from university and community colleges. Uh, we target and hope to support 10 projects, up to 10 projects each year. In the 2012-13 academic year, we had several that were completed um, at Madonna, Michigan State, U of M. Lake Superior State, Wayne State. There's a full list here on this slide. If you'd like to learn more about each one of those projects, you can go to the current projects page on the reicenter.org website. So the application is fairly simple. We're looking for a general description of the project, the project partners, the scale of the project, a timeline, the current state of the project, if it's in the beginning, the middle, or the end, and the project support that you are needing, and the other investment type details. The application can be found at reicenter.org at some times during the, the school year, but also it is sent out through the listserv to the higher ed network. The selection criteria that REI uses are in the following bullets on this slide. Assists an economically distressed community or region in Michigan. Must be able to be completed in one semester. 
and must engage the community in a process as appropriate, has a strong economic development or placemaking component, delivers ideas for creating knowledge economy, jobs, high growth entrepreneurship, and cluster development. It must provide economic development professionals in the community with access to technical assistance and data analysis. And where feasible, we hope that you will work with your regional planning organization. The deliverables for each student-led faculty guided project is a final report, which is due at the end of the semester, to conduct a webinar and to present at the annual Innovate Michigan Summit. We're hoping that these outcomes from the project will be a feasibility study, a technical assistance report, and that they'll share it with the, the community partners. We also hope that the webinars will describe the project's methods and the findings for the economic development professionals in that community or region. And then, of course, the annual summit presentation. This is a flow chart that shows each step submit a proposal, REI selects which proposals by the end of August, classes begin at the end of August, students meet with maybe their community partners, the project is in process through the semester, and then the final report is due at the end of the semester. Then there's the presentation and then the summit. If you need more information, you can contact me here at the Center for Community and Economic Development, or you can send an email to the REI general email, rei at msu.edu, or you can phone me at 517-353-9555. We are looking forward to several applications this fall semester. They are due August 14th. And the application link should be found on the REI website, or you can look for it in the e-updates with um, the REI Network listserv, or contact me directly. Thank you very much for your time, and good luck.